How's it going? My name is Kieran Bourgeois. I'm a glassblower who works in Florence, Massachusetts. I have an Instagram that is kb.toiz. Um, in this video, I'm going to be making a cup using a technique called coil potting, which is very similar to the ceramic technique of coil potting, where you take a large ball of clay, roll it into a thin snake, and coil it onto itself to make a larger vessel. Um, at the moment, I am adding colored glass to a larger clear glass rod. And this will be essentially the snake that I will use to coil onto itself and uh, create my cup. After I've put all the color on, I coat the whole thing in clear glass because colorized glass is actually more delicate in the flame and can lose its color if you overheat it. At this point I am using a hollow tube of glass and I'm heating a small section of the colorized rod of glass from earlier and as I turn the colorized glass in my right hand, I'm actually turning my left hand with the tube in the opposite direction. This will actually pull the uh, heating material off of the larger rod and twist it onto the rapidly expanding uh, body that is becoming the cup. Now that I've finished coiling the colored rod onto itself, I have a closed hollow vessel that I can now blow air into using the tube that I'm holding in my right hand to uh, shape the cup. At this point, I'm using a combination of heat from the torch, as well as graphite tools to help mold the glass into the shape that I want the cup to be. The tool that I'm holding in my left hand is called a claw grabber. I use these to help stabilize the glass and hold on to it without putting marks on the finished product. The claw grabbers help during a process called a fire cut, where while heating the rim of the glass with the torch, I blow into it, thinning it out to a point where the torch can cut through it. While the glass is hot, it's very easy to cut with scissors, giving a nice refined edge to the cup. Here we have the finished cup. The coil pot technique that I used 
gives it an almost woven pattern.